Hi, I'm Joy. And I'm Faith. We're basically just like any other 13-year-old Vermonters, except for one thing. We've never been to school in our whole lives. But that's okay, because we learn all the time, every day, everywhere, from everyone we meet. We homeschool. And no, we're not antisocial, friendless weirdos. We're well aware that there are many myths and stereotypes about homeschooling. Homeschooling is misunderstood. Yeah, like, we don't all just lay around in our pajamas all day. Well... Hey! We all have our days. Today, we're going to debunk five homeschooling myths. And hopefully, showing you that homeschooling is a great school choice. While this may have been true in the past, there are actually more of us than you may think. Let us introduce you to just a few students from our homeschooling community in Addison County, Vermont. Hello, my name is Jack Mel. My name is Abigail. Joe. My name is Mira. Parker. Tony. It's Jeremy. It's Maeve. My name is Fiona. My name is Ariel Stewart. Most of the time. My name is Kim. My name is Lua. My name is Campbell. My name is Will. My name is Emil. Emma. My name is Ben. My name is Emma! <laughs> Many Vermonters are realizing that homeschooling is a valid school choice, and the number of homeschoolers in the Green Mountain State is rising quickly. Homeschooling is on the rise nationally, too. In fact, it's the fastest growing form of education in the U.S. In 2016, over 2 million homeschoolers were registered with the U.S. Department of Education. 2.04 million to be exact, up 75% since 1999. Obviously, homeschooling is centered around the home, but homeschoolers learn in many different places in their community. Asked a few homeschoolers where else they learn. I learn field trips, museums, my friends' houses, the library, everywhere. I learn on my mom's farm and at, my, um, at the homeschool groups that I go to and usually the library too. I show my farms. I learn outside in nature. The library, a lot of times the library. and. Um, it's not very conventional, but whenever it's warm out, we usually go outside. So any kind of park or grassy hill or anything, I really like studying fresh air. At the Flynn in Burlington, um, the Monshire Museum. I take classes all around our community and online. I take three classes online, which is math, Spanish, and literature. And I also take classes at the local community college, CCB. Sometimes we go to the Monshire Museum, a hands-on museum that is a lot of fun. And also, I just learn from people that are around everywhere else that I am, all the time, constantly. It's not limited to any place. I learn in the library, um, outside a lot. I learn at my grandparents' house a lot. I learn at um, my friends' houses, and I learn by going places. Yeah, I do some courses on the internet. Everywhere, everything's a learning experience. So, libraries, parks, field trips, everything. And while it's true that homeschooling parents have more of a role in their child's education, homeschoolers also learn from other figures in their lives. I definitely learn from my friends and other people who homeschool. I learn from everyone I meet. My friends' parents, librarians, college students. Two tutors named, named Brenda and um, Jenny. I'd say I learn from my peers and my friends, um, and at places like in my house where we have other homeschoolers to talk about Shakespeare plays and read and discuss books. Um, my grandparents. Fellow homeschoolers. Um, and 
other, I guess, my piano teacher, my cello teacher, other figures. Former homeschoolers, uh, a few college students, my grandparents, and random people I meet. <laughs> um, like my basketball teacher, Colby, or my um, field hockey teacher, Shauna. I learn from animals. My friends' parents, just other adults in general, my friends. I'm the library sometimes. Everybody who ever wrote a book. My friends and my grandparents and my aunts and uncles. I know from my older sister. My siblings, friends. You learn just um, just going out and just meeting a lot of people. You can meet uh, a lot of interesting things. Like just go around, just talking to people. They'll give you your life story, whether you ask for it or not. <laughs> This is actually the most common myth about homeschoolers. In reality, homeschoolers have lots of opportunities to socialize. We interact with many different people, from many different backgrounds, of many different ages. And anyway, you socialize your dog, not your child. Yeah, we socialize by living life. There's a girl across the street from me. She's public school. She introduced me to a bunch of her public school friends. And I also have friends that, all, that are in Pennsylvania. I've made friends through um, events like fencing, um, and yeah, a lot through, through homeschooling. I'm friends with my neighbors, I'm friends with my cousins, I'm friends with their friends and people I meet in clubs and sports. Just by my mom, I'm meeting people and then them, and then I'm meeting them, and then I'm meeting their kids. I met uh, a lot of my best friends through Not Back to School Camp, though, which is a unschooler, homeschooler camp in Vermont. Just through kind of random instances, I think, talking to somebody in a coffee shop or um, just different activities that I was involved in. To debunk this myth, we cooked up some delicious pie charts for you to feast your eyes on. In the U.S., the percentage of the general population ages 18 to 24 that have taken college courses is 46%, while the percentage of homeschoolers in the age group is over 74%. Homeschoolers also have a slightly higher graduation rate, too. The percentage of students that graduate from college is 57.5%, while the population of homeschoolers that graduate college is 66.7%. education should go beyond the basics of reading, writing, and arithmetic. Homeschooling allows us the freedom to explore our many other interests. To show you what we mean, we asked a few fellow homeschoolers to tell us about their extracurricular activities. I do lots. I was really, really focused on ballet for a while. I'm not currently doing that now. Um, I play violin horribly. I do tennis when I have the chance. I am currently part of the world's best Shakespeare group. I like to do field hockey in the fall and basketball, um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, I also do play. Recently, I've taken part in a makers club. I do horseback riding, soccer, and basketball. Uh, I do fencing and stop motion animation. Well, I play sports at the Union School. Um, I volunteered here to help at the trash and recycling. I talk. Piano, violin. Um, some play theater stuff. I dance ballet. I like to ride horses. I draw and write and 
I act. I took tennis lessons. I'm in a theater group. I play guitar in a band. Football, sports, um, reading, games. I, I like fencing. Swimming, violin, and I want to do the piano. Hardwire electronics. Drawing, crafts, reading. I do Aikido. The Star Wars fan club. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want to be biased. I'm sure there are some downsides to homeschooling. I can think of one. No snow days! We hope that we've cleared up a few weird stereotypes for you. And that you'll consider homeschooling a valid school choice. And above all, homeschooling is fun! Bye, Bye for now! now.